And today we are road tripping, venturing afar to a faraway land. The land of Scots. Scotland. I'd just like to take a moment to state the obvious. This is not my typical filming conditions, and for that reason, the audio starts off slightly patchy. It does get better as the video continues, I promise. We are currently in a tent. For that we are. Did that need describing? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Claire, and this is Yoli. And this is Ross. I make videos all about house plant care, sharing tips and tricks I've learned over the years to help keep your plants happy and healthy. And in today's video, we're going to another plant swap, which is the fourth plant swap that they've done now. And this one's in Scotland and we are, as you can probably tell, not going straight there. We've done a little road trip and I didn't get around to filming the plants that I was taking beforehand. So we are doing this part of the video in the tent. Are you excited for the next plant swap, friends? Uh, assuming we make it there, I don't. Yeah. blow away it's in been the a, it's been a bit of an eventful journey so far but yeah gonna take you through everything that i'm bringing and then we're gonna take you to the swap itself and then we will show you what we come away with so yes i hope you enjoy it let's get into it I'm just going to take you through what I'm bringing fairly quickly because obviously audio in here is not fantastic. It is a little bit windy and stormy at the time of filming this, but I haven't brought as much as I usually bring and I've also gone with some kind of more, probably on the whole, more common house plants this time. But this is a Monstera Deliciosa Albo and I've got a few cuttings of this and I've also taken a couple of wet sticks which is basically where it's a section in fact I will find it and I, I know what a wet it. stick is you know what a wet stick you've is? you've told me about a wet stick okay a wet well Ross is a shamble that will grow into a plant Okay, so I lie, I haven't got wet sticks, I left those at home, but I've got several leaf cuttings, several other leaf cuttings, this one's just a top cutting and it's got a lovely new leaf unfurling. Oh my goodness, this wind is awful. Oh, sorry. So, the next one, I've just got a few little Chlorophyton Comisum variegata spider plant cuttings. Um, mine's giving me loads of babies at the moment, so I've packed up quite a few of those and I'm going to be bringing those. And then I decided to bring some philodendron jerry horn cuttings and these are some of the ones that I got in my, you know I did a rescue box recently. Looks like a penis. And I chopped up the big, <laughs> the big section of plants and I also picked up some cuttings of this from the last plant swap so I've got quite a few so I decided to bring a couple of these just because I've got enough to be able to grow my own big phallic plant <laughs> and then I brought a couple of ZZ plant cuttings again none of these are rooted I was gonna go kind of like go through my prop box and pull some stuff out but in the end I just ran out of time and then I've got some Raphitophora tetrasperma I knew you'd react to that I knew you'd react to that sperma Raphitophora tetrasperma I've got some of those cuttings also known as Monstera minima so yeah I think I've got three of those and I'm also bringing some philodendron brantianum cuttings I've got one leaf cutting like this and then I've got a big runner that I'm just going to chop into wet sticks and I'm taking that that one's a really pretty one I think it looks quite bluey I know you would probably disagree yeah you would disagree what color do you guys think that is because I think that is silvery blue and Ross always thinks those plants are green it's green it's not green it's silvery blue green. hold it next to that and you can see it's, just, it's green. It's a different green. It's green. Let me know what you think in the comments because I think that's blue. Uh, but then I've got a couple of Hoya Bella cuttings. Um, again, this one propagates and grows so, so quickly. So I feel like they're just very easy, robust ones to take the swap. And it's, it's one of my favourite Hoyas. And then the last two are kind of full plants. One's a very small one. And I actually got this one off the free table at the last plant swap. Um, it's a Crassula, what, well, I put the name there, um, watch strap or watch chain or something. And I think it's really, really lovely, but I'm just kind of trying to declutter my collection a little bit at the moment. And it's just one that's just kind of there and I feel like it's not making me that happy and I'm just caring for it kind of out of habit. Let's see if I think it would make somebody else happier. Uh, and then finally... 
the big prize. This is my Philodendron Florida Green potted with a section of Philodendron Florida Ghost. And again, this is another bit that I got in my rare plant box recently. And I do really like it, but again, it's just, I, it's just kind of like, it's quite cool, isn't it? I like it, but it's not making me that happy. And like we just said about this one, it's, I'm just trying to clear a bit of space at the moment. So yeah, that's what we're taking. It should be a really fun day and we are very excited about it. Looking forward to it. So yeah, we will bring you with us and let you know how it goes and then we will show you what we get. Stay sexy, plant lovers. <laughs> See me swapping, they hate him. Patrolling those swaps to make sure you're not grabbing plants. Trying okay. to stop you grabbing plants. Pick it up a pagonia, and maybe a. Philodendron Mexicanum. Mexicanum. So we've just got back from the plant swap. It was, I mean, I say we've just got back from the plant swap. We made it into a very long, very long trip. Kind of surrounding the yes. plants what we did um if you're on patreon you'll know on my patreon because we did a bit of vlogging before and after the swap and it has been eventful it's been a tad eventful yes we've had all of the weather <laughs> oh we have we, all of it will happen within four days but we have come back from the plant swap with some really really lovely plants so we haul. will got we've got a good very haul. good haul here so yeah, we will take you through some of the things that we got. Okay, so I got this plant, which I think Thomas brought this to the swap. I tried to keep better logs of my swaps this time. And in fact, I say that I tried to keep track of who who gave me what and who I gave what to. Who gave what and who gave what to who? Thank you, Ross. But I, I didn't actually do much physical swapping. It was mainly just kind of like, a, a, you take this and I'll maybe take something from you or I'll get something from someone else. It was kind of just like a... Yeah, like the, the the term swap was a little bit slightly different with this one. So yeah. someone might it was more of a some well, some degree it was like a pay it forward sort of system. So if you had something, someone would happily kind of let you have it, not necessarily take something from your table, but then kind of repay that favour to somebody else. So yeah. swaps were done, but perhaps not just between two people, perhaps through multiple people. Yeah, but it, absolutely. Everyone sort of walked away with a thing that they clearly wanted, which yeah. was which quite nice. Yeah. Some people would like some people were doing the kind of like do you want to swap this? Yes, no kind of thing, but a lot of people like us were just kind of giving things and receiving things and it just kind of worked quite well. So yes, as I say, Thomas brought this to the swap, I think, and it ended up on the free table at the end, and I just saw it and I thought it looked beautiful and I wrote down the name of it. Uh yeah, it's a philodendron mini peach tunnel, uh, which I don't think I've ever heard of before but it looks very similar to a philodendron that I picked up at the last plant swap that was actually on the free table as well so 
I'm kind of thinking I'll watch it grow and mature a bit and then see. That free table, that's, there's some good stuff the on there sometimes. The free table was amazing, wasn't it? I mean, we were trying to actually get people to take stuff at the end because there was so much stuff left on there and like really good plants. The first thing that I acquired at the plant swap. The first thing you acquired? The first thing that the I acquired. Well, the first thing I technically acquired, I, I, was, I was given this, which was rather sweet, okay. uh, because uh, Tash was there. Uh, and I'd seen the video that just went up of, yeah. of us talking about plants and how I have a collection of now pink plants. Well, there are a few non-pink ones here. These. Ooh. They're very pretty. And they're very pink, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and you are going to tell me what they are, because so I can't remember. I actually, okay, so this one here, I know because I've had it before, is an Autonanthera party time. Um, and this one... Is there a name party time? Yeah. The, yeah no way, I thought that was more, just a joke. That was like... <laughs> I mean, I think all the, it's, the genus is Orton and Thera, but I think, part, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but party time is just kind of the common name for it, I think. Mm -hmm. And my guess would be that this is also some type of Orton and Thera. Uh, it's beautiful, but I'm not entirely sure. This is Blazing Lime. Bla Blaze, Blazing Lime? I don't know if that's the name of the plant. I don't know. All I know is that they were very sweet and uh, very 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 nice to be given these ones yeah it's so lovely and they're totally you as well aren't they well yeah absolutely <laughs> i mean like, like again my typical stance was walk around and, and look for that the, the pink ones where i could find yeah. them and it was nice that That's someone sort of acknowledged that i liked them too so uh, it was really really sweet attached to uh, to, yeah. to give these to me yeah i think like yeah if you look at the structure of them i think they're both orton and Thera, but as i say please correct and let us know, do you know? Um, I haven't got names for these ones yet. <gasps> what should I'm, their names be? I'm desperately trying to name my, like name them like cool things, but I, that's why I don't want to do them too soon. Yeah. So I will think about them. Not yet. Get to know them a bit. And exactly. Some stand out, some need a minute. On the note of what Tash, because it was something that I got very early on and it was just adorable. And I don't usually share things like non, like actual plant things that maybe come away with at swaps, but this is just beautiful. She made me this key ring. And it's a variegated alocasia fry deck and it's a little yoli and i just thought that was the loveliest thing and i actually one of you guys very kindly made me a key ring at the last plant swap as well and that's the one that i'm currently using so i'm going to put this on the chain with it and have lots of lovely you've got a rather nice collection i know which is it's beautiful it is okay, Make cool. a plan. Go. okay this is one that i'm really really excited about and i got two cuttings of it oh in fact four cuttings two grouped together and one is rooted and one is not and it is an Epiphyllum acamanii, and I got these from Angela. And they're kind of, I mean, you can tell they're Epiphyllum, it kind of looks like a really chunky fishbone cactus. But I saw a plant, actually, when we went to uh, Hugo and Green, the plant mm -hmm. shop recently, I saw one there that looked very similar to this. And I didn't know what it was called, and I did find out the name, and I will put a picture of it in, and I'll put the name on the screen, because I was really trying to work out what that plant was. But yeah, I saw this one and it reminded me of that. And I love jungle cacti. I'm really excited about this one. I'm so excited to watch it grow. And yeah, I'm hoping it should do really well because I've got other epiphylums that have done pretty well in my environment. So yeah, it's just so chunky and beefy and cool. It's another one of these ones that baffles me that you, you it's just a leaf that you're going to grow into a plant. Yeah, and, that, that's still kind and of... feel it as well. It's really kind of thick and robust. I'm very excited about that one. Over to you, Ross. Over to me. Uh, I am going to pick up because these ones I, I like sort out when I got there. Yeah. So I'm going to pick these two, which are I've and these are easy for me to remember. These are obviously string of hearts because they look like strings of hearts. Do you want that person here? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look at those beautiful ones. Do you want to the name? Yeah. Go on. Then I'll remember that. Let's do it. Canopetia woodyi. Woody Woody Oh, Woody I might like, be pronouncing that wrong, but yeah. it's something along those lines. No, string of hearts, I'm, I'm going to keep these ones. Uh, I sort <laughs> these ones out. These uh, came from Becca. Yes, that's right. Uh, which is rather nice of her. And, uh, and yes, so no, as I said, they, on the other side of them, they are a little bit pink. Bit cheesy. So that suits me a little bit. I thought they were quite sweet and they grew, they can get quite a bit out of them. I thought that some yeah. people had like larger ones and there was a lot yeah, going on. Some of them, there was one, um, someone had one with hearts that were like that big. They were huge. And we do have names for these ones. This is Helena and this is Perry. 
Hello. Let me say we, like I had a fast in this name. I think Helen the Bottom Carter. So after Helen the Bottom Carter and Christina Perry, in case anyone was curious. Jar of Hearts and Queen of Hearts. And she played the Queen of Hearts, yeah. They're beautiful. They're also such low maintenance plants. Key is to essentially leave them alone because they are actually, they're semi succulents. So you feel their leaves, okay. they're, although they look they're very foliagey yeah, they, and leafy. They look very, like, yeah, they, they should be quite uh, brittle, but they're not. Yeah. They're quite sturdy. Robust. 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 And there's a robust heart. <laughs> Robust hearts. <laughs> In this modern world. <laughs> what requires a robust heart. <laughs> okay, so this might not seem particularly exciting, but so I I brought lots of variegated spider plant cuttings to the plant swap and I did manage to get rid of the ones that I came with. However, at the end on the free table there were lots left and I didn't want them to be thrown away. I didn't want them, I didn't want them to just be left there. So I've come back with loads more than I actually took, which is a little bit frustrating seeing because I've got like a million babies yeah, already. Got more, yeah. I've got more up there, yeah. But they are beautiful plants. I'm thinking of maybe giving some to my neighbours. If you would like a spider plant, Ross. Well, I mean, or, we've um, already, I've already said I would and I'm naming them Parker. Spider plant, spider plant, does whatever a spider plant can. I think there are probably about seven or eight in here, but they're all rooting nicely. And they're just, I, I find them really easy plants to grow. I think they're very rewarding plants to grow. I really like them. And now I have lots. And very quickly, while we are on the note of spider plants, I also came back with just a green non variegated spider plant because, again, this was one that was on the free table and pretty sure towards the end. And again, I just wanted to save it. So we have lots of spider plants. Yay. Uh, these, another, uh, you, you insisted, but I can't see why. This was another free table job, which is. These. And I, well, I think Tradescantia. Yes! Nice! Tradescantia. <laughs> uh, because yeah. I already have one. But I have a different <laughs> kind of one, don't I? So the one I've got, the one in my office, I have a Tradescantia Zebrina. You do. Right? You do. And, uh, but these ones are, I don't know if they're different, but they're certainly a different colour. The ones I've got, uh, the ones I already have are quite deep purple. So even yeah, these are going to turn deep purple. Silvery. Yeah, whereas. These ones are a little bit more lilac. Li lilac. Lilac. Ooh, I know words. Is that wrong? I, I would say lilac, but that's just a pronunciation thing. Are we doing this again? Lilac. Lilac. Yeah, no. lilac. So yes, I got these ones, uh, which I, apparently you're going to help me with because at the moment these have got nothing kind of coming out the bottom. Good. They are propagation. Propagation is needed here, yes, because they are fresh cut yep. and they are very, very easy to root. What I would personally probably do is just take off the lower leaves and the point the little kind of bump on the stem by where the leaf joins the main stem mm -hmm. that is called the node. the node the node and that is where roots will grow from and i personally just propagate tradescantia in water i just pop them in water and watch them root and then pop them up now i'm in the node in the node. In, in the, in the node. node. In the node. Mm. You're totally in the node. I'm in the node. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure on the idea of these Tradescantia. I'm not massive on Tradescantia myself because I'm not a huge one for colourful plants. If anybody knows, then please do let us know in the comments because they're very beautiful. Anybody knows. Then yes, it would be good to know. Duh. And this one that I got, I'm pretty sure I got this from Corin. It's a Tillandsia lab. Baldiana Mora uh, and I've never had this type of plant before to my knowledge and at the moment it's very small but I was looking at some pictures of them full and grown and they do look really beautiful so I'm gonna give it a go it feels quite succulenty mm, delicious do they get big I mean they do they're kind of self like self heading they kind of like as in there's not a you can see there's not like a main stem you can see and I'm pretty sure they continue to grow like that unless they lose leaves around the bottom so they're quite like bushy and full. I'll put a picture of one that's kind of mature on the screen but yeah it's it's one that I don't have in my collection and I'm intrigued about. One more time what's it called? It's called a uh, Talantia Labeldiana <laughs> Mora. You, if by the next swap you could take a cutting and then there'd be more of them. I could. <laughs> However, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure how easily this one can be propagated through cuttings. If we take your Travis Cancer, for example, as you can see, there's a very clearly defined main stem mm -hmm. and clear nodal points where roots could grow from. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how easy it would be. I'm sure it's possible, but I don't know how easy it would be to do with this because obviously there's not a clear main stem. 
and the nodes aren't particularly clearly defined. Mm. So there would be no more of them. No more. Uh... Well, we could give it a go. We could try propagating it and see what happens. But yeah, if you guys have got experience with propagating this plant, do let me know. Or if you've got any growing tips, then please do comment them down below because I currently don't know a lot about it. But what else have you got, Ross? What, what have you got on your got? side of the Qu table? Quite a lot. You've got quite a lot. Quite a bit. Good haul. Uh, this one was a gift from Emma, Queen of the Plant Swap. Co-queen. Co-queen. Co again, me. Sorry, Lisa. Emma and Lisa did a, such a brilliant, such a brilliant job at organising another amazing swap. And obviously this one was in Scotland, so it wasn't on home turf. Effort was... they had to go in to like yeah. to get it to like yeah, to get it there to like come up with all the staff to get it yeah. organised. Like obviously being in London, it it's amazing that it was it went up it went without a hitch and it's amazing that it, was, it did. And it's yeah, it just flowed so well. There were so many lovely people there. It was so great to meet some of you guys as well. Yeah, it was just a wonderful, a wonderful day. Wanna just? Yeah. I, I don't know what this is. You do. Because you told me when you first got it. Yeah, that's because Emma said it's it a at the Hoya time. Ro Your boat? Think of <laughs> think of friends. What's the sofa called? What's the sofa oh, called? What the armchair, Joey's armchair, his favourite armchair. I don't know. Rosita. I would never have guessed that. Oh. Hoya Rosita. Hoya Rosita. Have I got something similar to this one? Because it looks like one of the ones that you first got me. That no, see, I don't know. That. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking of the variegated lipstick plant, the Ascanthus marmoratus. And I'm actually not quite sure what the discoloration is on the back of that leaf. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But um, the Hoya Rosita, it naturally grows. I mean, if it's grown in kind of just like normal room lighting conditions, like this room, for example, it's quite a dark green plant. But this one has obviously been grown in like higher light and mm -hmm. so sun stressed it goes quite kind of ready pinky particularly on the new growth there and on the backs of some of the leaves as well you can see kind of a lovely pinky tinge to it so yeah if you keep it in high light it should continue to grow lovely and pinky for you i'm not sure my flat has that but i will give it a go yeah. stick it right where the way okay, to force it out grow light. oh god am i ready for that i think you Good are enough. clip it to your new plant shelf anyway thanks then then I got what I assume is a Thanksgiving cactus. I've never actually had one before, but I just, again, I think this again was on the free table. So much stuff I got came from the free table, but I just saw this little cutting and as I say, I've, I've never had one before. And yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's a Thanksgiving cactus just because I know true Christmas cacti are quite hard to come by nowadays. And most of the ones that you come across are actually Thanksgiving cacti. I just think it's lovely. And it produces the most beautiful blooms as well. Beautiful blooms. Beautiful blooms. Beautiful blooms. I will put a picture on the screen because the bloom. Be the bloom. <laughs> oh, the bloom. The bloom. The bloom. The bloom. The bloom. The bloom. Oh, the bloom. Oh, the blooms are beautiful. They're so beautiful. Oh, beautiful blooms. Beautiful blooms. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited about that. At the moment, it doesn't look like much and it needs some hydrating and some rooting, but it's lovely. Yeah. Uh, this one, which I think. Everyone would have got one of these to some degree because this one so. came in the goodie bag, yeah. which is why if you haven't gone to a plant swap, you do get fun stuff. You do, they get uh, great goodie bags. And what's handy is it tells you what this one is, which is a Monstera Stanleyana. Yeah. Stanleyana, which looks like that. That one's actually got beautiful variegation on it. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. Yeah. That's this bad boy, yeah. which, uh, yeah, it came part of the goodie bag, one of many things within the goodie bag yeah. uh, oh my that God. you get for the for your ticket. I was going to say, uh, I'll put I'll put some clips in of other things that came in the goodie bag, but they had gorgeous trellises and vouchers. It, trellis, and... Trellises, some, like soil ninja stuff yeah, was in there, pom pom. Some sunny hydro. Yeah. Sunny hydro stuff, see? Some, yeah. So that came <laughs> within that, and then and you get your raffle tickets as well, which we will come to. But like yeah, no, you get, you get a lot of fun stuff in there, one of which being a plant. Yeah. And this one is such a fast grower once it gets going, but in my experience is so slow to root. Like I got some cuttings of Monstera Stanleyana. In fact, I now have the plant. Oh, here's one I made earlier. Here's one I made earlier. Oh, look at um, that. Yeah, so this is my full plant of it now, but I got some cuttings at the first plant swap, I think. And no word of a lie, they took like nine months to root. They took such a long time. I lost some leaves. Um, I just didn't think it was going to do anything, but once it got going and I potted it up, it's now growing very, very quickly. Ooh, there right. goes its hydration cup. The, the, oh, <laughs> there goes that technical hydration you've got working for, right? Gosh. I mean, we have been away for five, six days. It's a little bit 
in fact, bone, bone dry at the moment. Well, well, thanks for a glimpse into my future then, because it sounds yeah. like it's going to be a little bit stressful for the first. Just, just stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with Light, it. heat, humidity, all the good stuff. Oh, there's just something very exciting going on in my cabinet, but I will look at that after this because it's not related to this video. It's just an exciting plant update. Can't remember. Okay, we'll, we'll be we'll, right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> What anyway, that? what else did I get? I got this. We both got one of these actually. Ah. And these were from Lydia, who also was taking photos of the event. And apparently, I haven't seen the photos yet, but Emma and Lisa were saying the photos are amazing. Gosh, yeah, so, one. one's bigger than yours. And they're a little bit droopy at the moment because they haven't. Well, they've been in the car for the last few days, but I think all things considered, most of the plants have actually travelled very well. But this is a begonia maori haze but just look at those leaves they're so beautiful and they've just got like a very nice for me like a very nice level of purple without it being like too like bam in your face and overwhelming Red, reddish more than aren't they, than else? kind of you see colors differently to everyone else don't you no i i, I think you do no, mm, blue plants <laughs> there are blue plants well, I think we've already had this discussion actually at the beginning of this video. Still having it. Yeah, okay, well, what do you They're think? Still what do you guys think? Begonia. Blue. Let us know because, oh, not no. Blue. Blue. Not blue. Not blue. Truth just slipped out for a second. Stop. Isn't it? Allocation. Blue. Don't edit that in. I was going to say, You're gonna, you can't swear on my channel. Shishmataglottis willichii. <laughs> um, but no, this is a really gorgeous begonia, and I think once it's got into some water, it will perk up very, very quickly. They are very responsive. Usually, when you put them in water, they just kind of rehydrate. And also, in my experience, water, watering. Rooting begonias in water is the best way to do it. I've I've had the highest, high, oh my god, I can't speak. The highest success rate doing it that way. So I would recommend that that's how you prop yours. That's how I'm going to be propping mine. Well, these came from Corin. One of them has. Well, a that one on. technically came from the free table, but I assume uh, it probably came from. You're right. We did get this look, one, but they do look like similar plants. They look like they're meant to be together. One this one is mm -hmm. called a. Echeveria elegans? That's how I Echeveria would pronounce elegans. it. I often, when I say Echeveria, I often get people correcting me, so, but that's how I would personally say it. Yeah, that one's taken a slight battering on the way back. However, taking a, taking a kick in. what you can do is these little leaves that are coming off, if you just pop them actually on top of soil or on top of some damp kitchen or just spray them every now and then, they will start to root and you'll get a mm. whole new plant from them. I don't know, but I feel like these need like names that are they're like connected, like Mario and Luigi. Don't think that's what they're gonna be, but something like that. This one, Ooh. this one is why you get extra raffle tickets. I won a raffle prize and I got one of these. And I know that you told me what it was. Mm -hmm. I want to say philodendron. I can't remember the rest of it. Mexi Mexicana. Mm. Mexicanum, Philodendrum Mexicanum yep. uh, is what this is. Uh, and this one has a name, and I am calling it Pom. Pom. And why? Because it looks like a praying mantis, and Pom Clementif, which I've definitely said wrong, plays mantis in Guardians. Pom. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, it is a really cool part. This and one's. The, back of the leaves as well are kind of purply red, they're really beautiful. This feels like my most exotic one. I mean, it's, it's not as difficult to look after as some of the other ones that are now in your yeah, collection. I'm purely going off of how it looks. It just looks a bit, it looks, it looks quirky. And we were looking at pictures of what it looks like when it's big and mature as well, weren't we? It's huge. It can be massive. That I didn't realise. The lobing of the leaves and it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, really excited to We will need a house by that point. Oh, I think like, we will. Yeah, because that's purely not, yeah, for, for that, that bad boy, yeah. <laughs> And this one again was from Lydia and it's a Rapidifora decursiva. You said that really well. I've got another ref I've got other oh, like, Not your first time, okay. Not my first time rapidifouring. <laughs> but the decursiva, I have never had before. And currently this is what it's looking like. But again, I'll put some pictures on the screen of what it looks like when it's kind of good and growing. But rapidifora, in my experience, are really, really hardy plants. They're very easy to grow. They tend to be quite fast growing as well. So yeah, although it just looks like a leaf in a pot currently, I'm really intrigued and Excited about it. Excited about it. I'm excited. excited about my plant. And that is me 
complete. Again, another free table. A lot of our stuff comes from the, the free table, really. We've got we... really great stuff from the free table. And like, I think because we were just giving plants, if someone just said, oh, I like that, would you consider swapping that for that? We'd just say, oh, we'll just take it. We'll come and look at yours later. So a lot of the stuff that we got was from the free table, but a lot of the stuff on the free table was really awesome. Anyway, the last one. <laughs> the last one. The last, the last one. Plant. Our free table job. Yep. Which, again, I thought was quite fun. It looks exotic. It probably isn't. But it's this, which is... Commonly known as the jade plant. The jade plant. Why is that? I actually don't know. I can only assume that perhaps when it goes sun-stressed, it goes a little bit jadey. But its Latin name is Crassula ovata. Crassula ovata. Okay, that's another yeah. potion, isn't it? Crassula ovata. But I just find this plant so fascinating because firstly, it's a really, really hardy, really low maintenance plant, but the structure of it changes so much. Like I'll show you the one, in fact, I'll put a clip in of, and I'll show you after this video, the one that I've got through in my bedroom because I've got this type of plant, but it looks totally different to oh, how really? that one looks. Oh. But it depends on like different lighting conditions. Like you, can, grow... so you can kind of make it your own if you totally. want to, so you can kind of switch it up if yeah. you like it looking a certain way. But this one is called Yoshi because it's kind of got like Mario vibes about it and it's got like the green and the kind of scaly kind of vibe and yeah so when I looked at it I felt this is Yoshi. And um, also again, oh, also so this is <laughs> the extra barrier, this one's lost a couple of leaves and again you can propagate these so easily, you could literally stick them down to the soil there and they'd grow, you could put them on damp soil, damp kitchen roll, you could propagate them in water. So basically, Yoshi eggs. Oh, prop in that, next plant swap, boom. Yoshi. I know, it was just a really fantastic time. Like, it's always a great time at the plant swaps, but it's so nice now that they're kind of branching out and taking it to lots of different places. And it's so wonderful to meet more people in the plant community from here, there and everywhere. But yeah, that was the plant swap. And if you want to see a little bit more of a vlog of our weird, weird time away in Scotland and around about in Scotland, then head, over, head over, then head on over to Patreon. But we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video. Stay sexy, plant lovers. <laughs>